Hi there, I'm gonna show you this incredible view. I am at the relatively famous Barton Springs pool here in Austin, Texas. Uh, and it's just at dawn and I've just finished a, a morning swim. They just opened the pool again uh, for the first time in months after the, all the COVID issues. And so it's incredible, all these swimmers out here before dawn uh, getting in our laps. All right, so I wanna talk about being. Yeah, there's sun coming into the trees, look at that. So every day I see smart, ambitious, caring, motivated, uh, intelligent, high wage earning, high performing people who uh, are living lives that they don't know how they got there uh, and don't want, they don't like their careers or whatever and, and they don't think they can change it. They don't know how to change it. A long time ago, uh, I learned uh, of the three conditions of existence, be, do, and have, being, doing, and having. And I learned that in the West, we tend to focus on doing, right? So we create this equation that says, if I just do more or better or smarter, then I'll have what I want and then I'll be happy, right? And what I've learned in my life is that equation is false. The better equation is to start with be, right? If I be who I am, if I discover who I am and be it, right, then my doingness will be all perfect and so will what I have. It'll all fall into place. Uh, here's something that you can do about that uh, today. Let me start spending a little attention on who you are and whether you are being in a line with yourself, whether you're being whole, whether you're being complete, right? So what does that look like? Well, ask yourself who you are. Ask yourself if you're really living according to your true values or if you're compromising them in order to do what you think you're supposed to do. Create a reminder for yourself on one of your devices that pops up every few hours and ask yourself, who am I being right now? Uh, figure out what is your uh, incredible genius that you have not been paying attention to because it might not have fit into what you're doing. Figure out what is your incredible inspiration? Ask yourself, what are you doing uh, to satisfy it? Give yourself permission, right? One of the things that I often hear in organizations I work in is people saying, it's insane around here. And I always ask myself quietly, maybe I even say it to them, then what are you doing here? All right, you have a right to your own sanity. Send all your questions to hello at responsibility.com. I look forward to hearing from you.